Axpetu, where have you been? What's going on with the Shen boycott? What have you been doing? Well, I've been playing another game. It's called Onkai Star Rail. Onkai Star Rail is a new multi-platform space fantasy RPG from the developers of Genshin Impact. To be honest, I never actually played Genshin Impact, because I thought that you have to pay for everything within the game. However, my opinion changed when my brother started playing, and he did it without spending any money at all. What surprised me is how strategic Star Rail is. The turn-based combat system is easy to pick up, but it also offers a lot of depth and potential for some off-meta builds, which you know I love. Star Rail is a true cross-platform game, as you can play the game for free on PC, mobile and even PlayStation 5. The game feels like a visual novel instead of a typical cartoon game. And oh, the attack animations in this game, they make you feel like a badass. Okay, there's this character in the game called uh, Ying Yuan. He's basically this uh, Giga Chad 200 IQ general that wields a spear blade hybrid weapon. His ultimate ability is called Mercy at your expense. And oh boy, let me tell you, when you use this ability for the first time, oh, it feels like a pre-nerf, full AP, empowered AOE Shen Q on steroids. First you prepare the strike, and then you hit every single opponent with your gigantic blade, and you go Honkai Star Rail has just received a new game update with the two new characters, Ying Liu and Topaz. There's also an update to the main story and two new maps. Download the game using the link below to experience all the amazing characters in Star Rail. You can also use my redemption code to get 50 stellar jades for free. Dear viewer, it's time. It's time to unbend Shen, alright? The boycott, it's officially over. And let me tell you why. Nemesis talking about Shen. Riot game designers talking about Shen. Everybody's talking about Shen. Is the Shen boycott good? Is it bad? Should people be allowed to do this? No one cares, mate. Like your stupid little Shen boycott, it's not gonna do anything. But to us Shen mates, we stand together, we stand united, like Roman warriors at the face of adversity. Alright? We didn't play Shen for a month, but now we have justice. Alright? My Twitter DMs. Riot Froxon, the lead gameplay designer for League of Legends, he's sliding in. Whoosh! All right, the guy slides in. He says, "Brother man, do you have a list of Shen W bugs?" And then me and the Shen boys go to work. The whole Shen community testing every single W interaction in the game, going practice tool after practice tool, testing every item, testing every champion interaction. Then we compile an extensive list of all the interactions and the bugs. All right, we send it to Riot. My guy says, Froxons just says, thanks. Then I say, hey, do you want to maybe talk about Shen Ballast? No, no answer, no answer, okay? Giga Chad just leaves, get the, bu get the bugs, leaves. No, for real though, respect for communication, all right? Then, two weeks later, patch 13.20. Fixed a bug that caused Kraken Slayer and Storm Razor to ignore Shen's W, Spirit's Refuge. All right, perfect. That's two bugs down, what else? Gold per tower plating down by 50. Okay, direct buff to Shen because I never get tower platings and uh, opponents get like five every game. All right, so essentially what you're getting is uh, 250 gold every single game in terms of difference, right? Because your opponent is losing 250 gold. So that's something, right? And then they just randomly decide to nerf every single AD AP keystone, right? Electric Yield, Dark Harvest, Lethal Tempo, Arcane Comet, Summon Airy, Taste of Blood, everything, like all the AD and AP scans get removed. Not removed, but nerfed. Uh, but Shen doesn't care, right? Because I don't have AD, I don't have AP, I don't even take those runes, right? So that's another buff for Shen. Now I'm getting worried, right? We're getting a little bit too many indirect buffs, like... Uh, I don't know, right? Like, um, maybe uh, Champ is looking a little bit uh, OP at this point. Now, two weeks later, another patch comes out. And this time, they address one of my key complaints, which was not really a key complaint, but it's more of a like a bug that was very annoying that shouldn't happen, which is the fact that Fiora passive and Fiora ultimate vitals uh, went through Shen W, all right? So they assert dominance by removing this interaction, uh, or should I say fixing this bug. And now they have already addressed three Shen bugs and given uh, two indirect buffs to my uh, to our champion, <laughs> our champion. <laughs> uh, and then what they do is they even nerf Hullbreaker resistances, which is an item that Shen does not build unless you're uh, the blue ninja, uh, Giga Chad Shen player who builds Hullbreaker. Um, 
But uh, essentially another indirect buff, because most top laners these days are going Hullbreaker and solo queue. So they're just uh, removing resistances again. So now at this point, you know, I'm very happy that Chen got attention. I'm very happy that Riot communicated with us. We didn't directly see maybe my point of view, which was that a passive Shen gameplay, which is now still, you know, good, is still better, right? It, it is, these changes don't make aggressive Shen gameplay, gameplay better, but it's Riot's call. Like, if they want to have one champion that is this, this sort of supportive top laner, then I understand it. It's not what Shen used to be, even if that was its, uh, the champion's intention before, because the champion used to be a lane bully. Um, but at this point, like, they fixed bugs, they talked to the community, uh, I think the r only reasonable thing we can do is conclude that uh, no need for a further boycott. Uh, I didn't get the pressed attack proc off there, and now I have not commentated on the game at all, but yes, I am running press the attack. No, it's not normal. Is it better than grasp? Probably not. Do I care? Most certainly not. Uh, do I want to get this wave shoved in? Very much so. Mm, yeah, we're happy with this. Now the question is, what item do we go for here? Now, a reasonable option would be Bummy Cinder into Refillable. I think we're gonna be reasonable here. Um, Bummy Cinder into Refillable. Perfect. Then we're gonna go back to lane. He doesn't have any extreme wave clear. He's not uh, like a Akshan or anything, so we might be able to even catch some of the minions here. If not even three minions, probably four. Um, but yeah, we're running a little bit of press the attack time of technology back on the Shen gameplay. Got the legend tenacity at the last stand, probably a bit of dueling power, and then shield by second wind as well, because you know me, I cannot play without second wind. It is physically impossible for me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be testing out a little bit of a more aggressive build. Blocked um, that one. I'm gonna go in for the press the attack proc here. Notice he's uh, level six, so we don't wanna take an extended trade, uh, but we are happy to do some damage and also Maybe possibly freeze the wave. Um, am I close to level 6? Yes. Um, he doesn't get the wave completely shoved in. Which we are happy about. We could go for a short trade here. Maybe a, even a bit of a longer trade. That's the new champion. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's called Briar. Uh, apparently she has like a 400% AP scaling on her E. Uh, I looked at the wiki numbers, I thought that must be a bug, but no. It is possible in fact to do like 4000 damage with one ability. Um, but hey, all the power to you, right, Gavs? <laughs> I respect that. No, but honestly, let's, let's be serious. I think the recent clarity and the transparency of communication from the Riot Games developer team has been commendable, okay? They have written extensive Twitter posts about upcoming balance, cha balance changes and honestly I think they're doing a good job like I gotta give the guys um, and the gals um, some well needed uh, commendation here we go for uh, Ionian Boots of Lucidity maybe a little bit a little bit controversial to wait that long for the item back there um I'm gonna honestly say it's worth, because if I went um, Giant's Belt, it's not gonna, like, obviously it's gonna build into ra Radiant Virtue, but... <laughs> Freak that, we're not going Radiant Virtue this game. No, no sir, no sir. And since I get the boots this way, I'm gonna make it to the lane a little bit faster after the purchase, so... Like, I am I'm completely fine making that trade-off of waiting in base for a little bit of gold. But, generally, like... You don't see like Korean challenger players waiting in base for gold. Like these guys, they're running out even if they have 40% HP or something. They just want to get to lane as fast as possible. A little bit of trade to get the Camille uh, uh, passive shield on cooldown. Quick trade by her. Well played. At the passive shield. Um, I don't have W, so it's a bit of a hard. And once she gets Divine Sunderer, obviously there's gonna be a lot of issues. She's gonna cancel me here and I'm completely fine about that. Because I get the assist. I get what I want. Gonna go for a little bit of quick quickie. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm a little bit scared here because of her ultimate. 
uh, and they don't have ignite. But if I have ignite, I'm, I'm, I think I'm fine to stay. I need to be careful of the wall because if I stay near a wall versus Camilla, obviously she has like faster time to CC me. So um, whenever she does that, she uses Q1 on a minion and gets the movement speed. You need to be really careful. Uh, somehow I dodge that, but I would say it's more of a miss by her than a dodge by me. Um, I want to get the cannon minion, obviously. Probably a little bit creative to go for that, but I'm level 8 now. Um, we can look for a gank with Maokai. I will have my um, Ignite up soon. No, that's my, that's my bad, my bad. Uh, she had movement speed, so it's a little bit difficult to hit the max range, if, if not impossible. The reason why I ignite there is to get the vision. Nice. So we just want to play that pretty patiently, right? I, I freeze the wave. Obviously, like, I'm gonna be honest, it looked like a bait from my side. I don't know if Camilla realized it. Maybe she just thought I'm that greedy that I will freeze the wave in front of her like that. Um, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, how do you say it, like, uh, provocative, right? It was like provocative gameplay by me. So, when I start freezing that aggressively at that low HP, you're bound to get some kind of reaction from your opponent. Now, very cool, calm, collected challenger player would probably, would probably thought like, hey, yeah, that's a bait. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, but most of these, this is like a mastery log game, so these guys are gonna be like, hey, no bro, you can't freeze my wave, no, you can't do that, no, and then they're gonna die. We're gonna take a recall here, I kind of wanna look for something interesting, like, something interesting. Oh, the guy is going for Trinity Force. Mm, I think there's potential to actually win a 1v1 in this game. Now, I am going Divine Sunderer. No, actually, Stroid Breaker. Destroyed break, oh my god. Um, can I go Iron Spike Whip? Is that like actually legal? It seems kind of illegal, but um, the law has not concerned my Shen gameplay before, so I will not not let it concern it now. Um, probably not the correct usage of that English word, but whatever. I, I have a little gameplay thing that I want to talk about today as well. Like just a little, you know, I, I love to talk about small mechanics. Okay, Makai is just running around with the face as Nimbus Cloak technology. Boop, and uh, Briar hops over the wall. So when I get a chance, please remind me guys to talk about wards. Now obviously it's not possible for you to remind me. This is just a local YouTube video recording, right? So you have no direct way of affecting my gameplay. But let's agree that you watching this on YouTube right now, you're gonna remind me somehow like you're gonna make a like a quantum i don't know tunnel through time and space to remind me that i want to talk about wards okay when i see an enemy ward with a control my, my own control ward or something uh then or, or a blue blue ward by the enemy then you're gonna remind me through that quantum gate time travel thingy um and uh then we're gonna talk about a little gameplay mechanic um i want to ult bot lane i kind of want to fight this guy honestly Nice dodge the stun. Probably this is pretty winnable, but I don't need to all in. Like, there's no reason for me to all in. Because I'm like happy like this, and I don't know where Briar is. I missed that E. Maka's doing stuff. Missed that minion. Oh, she missed that W. Okay, we see Briar. She's probably pretty upset that she is getting outraded by Shen at this point. Um, no one has taken a tower plating, so the tower plating changes not effectively matter. There's gonna be a gank coming from me, uh, so I'm gonna ward this. And I'm still gonna on purpose play aggressively to bait opposition, okay? So I want to bait a little bit of um, time from their uh, Ari, like this. Uh, then we want to maybe be a little bit careful here, okay? But now Ari wasted a lot of time. And since I had that ward, I am in no danger. Obviously... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, interesting. Do we see an enemy ward? Okay, I see enemy ward. Oh, oh, let me show, let me show, guys. Let me show. Uh, I couldn't show. Let's go. Boom. 
block. Double kill. Okay. Where out? Do we... Any bra- <gasps> Oh, does she have ultimate? Is there ultimate chance? Berserker. Where? Fire? I think. Look at that W by me. What is that? Oh lord, what is that? Wait, how did Briar die? <laughs> huh? Wait, what is it? The... <sighs> did, uh, I mean, how did Marka die to Briar? What? A gold drinker. Now I remember. The forbid... The promised land. Gold drinker got buffed with HP. It's time. Guys, it's time. Long have we waited. Gore Trinker activated. Um, I'm gonna switch to Oracle's Lens so I have the ability to show you the war thing that I want to talk about. Thanks for reminding me, by the way, through the Quantum Gate Tunnel. Um, I'm gonna go here. By the way, sorry that I'm using these quantum words. Um, I'm actually right now, I am studying quantum mechanics and I'm also studying uh, quantum circuits and also studying quantum machine learning which means uh, machine learning on quantum computers. So essentially how to design uh, new machine learning algorithms for quantum computers. And I'm gonna be honest, it's super fun. It's like not rational in any sense. I mean, it, it is like from a mathematical perspective, the models are like, ra like they're understandable, right? But you don't have any like intuition towards them. Like one of my friends who's a nuclear physicist he essentially said that, you know, okay, all that quantum stuff, that's like ghost realm stuff. Like that, that's not real. It's, it's like, no matter what, no matter what you say, it's not real in, in his mind. Uh, and I kind of agree with him. Try to get the gore drinker proc there. And there's four people both sides, so I can do whatever I want top side. Uh, tower plating's already down, so Camilla can't get those. She really wants to go for that auto deck. I'm gonna punish her. I mean, hey, the Gordrick are feeling kind of nice here, kind of nice. Okay, I hope this is warded. I really hope it's warded. It's not. Maybe this is, because I really want to show the thing. <gasps> okay, look here. One, two, three. I'm going to fake my movement this way. And because the vision lingers for one second, now the last instance that... Oh, never mind. Stop talking. I mean, okay. So there were two options for me, right? Actually, there were three options. One option was to just try to kill Vayne. But the problem is that Vayne has cleanse and she has ultimate. So it's very hard for me to actually finish that kill of her and her. And then the second option is to E over this wall and try to escape. Why I didn't instantly go for that option is because uh, Vayne has condemn ability. So if I just directly path towards this wall, I'm going to get condemned there. Um, I don't know if I need to actually... Yeah, he probably not worth my ultimate. I think Jin Jen was actually fine. Uh, he should recall here. Maybe he wants to get the... Um, I, I will return to this uh, scenario. So, so why I don't instantly go for the wall is because of Bane Condemn. And the second reason why I don't instantly go for the wall uh, to escape with my E is the fact that Camilla can ult me. So when I cast my E, Camilla was in range, so she could uh, countercast with her R and essentially uh, mitigate my E, so I will die anyways. So that's the kind of reasoning behind why I didn't try to escape over that wall. And then the only uh, conclusion, or like the only logical conclusion for me was to try to kill the Camille. So because when I ignite Camille and try to go for her, it might make her back off so that she's not in ultimate range after Vayne has used Condemn, so then I can E over the wall. Um, ended up just happening that uh, we didn't accomplish really anything. That's a big ass prior coming. Mm, sorry, no. Unless? Okay, Briar E ability, going crazy. Uh, how do you fight this champion, by the way?
Hallo? 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 <laughs> Riot Games? <laughs> No, she, I mean, she's ahead, right? She has seven kills in that fight. She has a guard ranker completed. Not like I have a guard ranker completed. She's, uh, he's, I mean, I think her champion is designed to kill you in a 1v1, uh, straight up. So um, I should not be upset that I lose. That doesn't mean I'm not upset, you know, but... <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty good, tough game, actually. 19 kills both sides at 19 minutes. Two kills per minute. Looking like a world's match. Just kidding, Wilds matches have like 7 kills per minute. No, uh, sorry, 7 kills per uh, 20 minutes. Um, do we want to finish? Like, honestly, I, I feel like I have to go for something like a Bramble Vest. I don't know if it's right. I just feel like it makes sense. It's probably not right. I don't care. I'm going to finish Thormel. This is so weird, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I could look for an ultimate po top. Yeah, this could be... Yeah, th we could do something here. We could do something here. Oh no. We're in trouble here. <laughs> okay, finish it off, Jin! I got a big shutdown, right? I got 550 bonus gold. Whew! And that's a Tormail finish right there. Um, Like, I'm also not a big fan of Tormail as an item. I just saw that one Cassante player in Worlds went Tormel first item, and then I was inspired to try this item again, so here we are. Uh, in some sense, like, this guy's healing a lot, right? This guy's doing a lot of attacks, so Tormel might prove useful. Do we have to go for a Magic Resist? Probably. Or we can go for an Anathema's Chains and put it on Ari. That would be the more um, efficient option, I believe. So let's do that. Let's be efficient. Um, and we got the war thing mentioned. We mentioned how uh, patches change, patches change, Shen and what's the current situation? We're doing good. It's classic Shen shenanigans once again unleashed. Oh yeah, look, jungle changes. Okay, guys, like I I've been thinking, I've got the challenger with Shen top lane multiple times. Shen mid lane last season. Now maybe it's time for Shen jungle. Something new because. What Riot did is they they essentially nerfed the jungle um, experience and gold, right? So carry junglers are relatively weaker than before, right? Compared to supportive junglers. So maybe the time is ripe for Shen jungle in this moment in time. <laughs> Waiting in bush and kill stealing from Zed. Yeah. But he's my brother, you know. Sometimes the brothers have to do that sort of stuff. Um, I I should really go bot lane to match Camille. I feel like I'm not being very efficient with my pathing. Uh, I think in general my macro is pretty bad. And now Zed is coming here as well. Uh, so this was like the absolute worst. <laughs> this was... Uh, it's just like sometimes, bro. Sometimes the macro, the map movement just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, that time might be right for Shen Jungle. I'm looking here. Kamiya's gonna stop me or what? Oh! Ah, oh, she cleansed. Holy damage. But I have my Tormel. I got my Tormel! Yep. Yes, sir. Kill this guy. No, bro, how much is this prior dealing damage, by the way? Let's drink in God Drinker. Guy's going crazy. Whew. We buffed this champion in this patch, by the way. Mm. I honestly, I don't know how prior, uh, how good prior is. This is legitimately my first game playing against her. Uh, that's what, <laughs> like, <laughs> when I say, you know, I'm gonna boycott Chen, essentially what that means is I'm boycotting League of Legends, right? Because... <laughs> I mean, except for the fact that I played in that streamer community tournament uh, hosted by Elite 500, I just haven't played at, like, League at all. But it's okay. I think what makes League fun for me is taking breaks, honestly. Now, like, since we are quite far into the video, into the gameplay, I want to confess something. I want to confess something. Where's the freaking thing? Yeah. So, 
the Shen boycott, right? Obviously, it spurred from my uh, dis- uh, dissatisfaction with the current state of the champion. But at the same time, I have been working on a secret project. Very secret project. And it's related to League of Legends, guys. And, and I'm very excited about this project. And just today, I got approval from Riot Games that I can actually do this project. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing here. But it's fun. <laughs> Anyways, I've been, like, okay. I've been studying, I've been building a company, I've been working on this project. And I, it's it's still gonna take a couple of months before I can uh, release it to you guys. I, I just want to say that I'm very excited about it. Uh, I honestly think that it's it's some of the best work that I've done um, because I, I think everything that I kind of do uh, needs to be like it needs to teach me something, right? At some point, like reaching, you know, playing Shen for the 5,000th time in top lane, it doesn't teach you that much. That's some of the reasons why, like, I didn't enjoy the game as much previously. But now I feel like, you know, Shen is in a better state, and now maybe we can take on this cha- challenge of playing Shen in the jungle. So that will teach me something new. And obviously I can create content for you guys, which is transformative, brings value. Uh, and then, like, I'm creating something good in the world. But anyways, my point here was that at some point you need to always evolve what you're doing. And I think what, you know, great people, if you look at great people, people have, like, people have achieved a lot. What they do is they say no to things, right? They don't only say yes to things, they also say no to things. So, so learning when you have to, like, even if you have a good thing going... I actually got her? Wait, am I, al- am I alive? Vayne is coming for me from that side, and Camille is coming for me from that side. Uh, what I need to do is I need to cancel Camille's E with the blasting cone. <laughs> no, I didn't cancel. Okay, I can walk through this. No, I can't. <laughs> like, okay, honestly, one of my favorite things about League is when you like... Um, when you're, ra- uh, when you're running for your life and you do like ridiculous stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be ridiculous, but I just, I love the scenario where opponents are trying to kill you and then you use the terrain, use your abilities and use your game knowledge to like waste their time. I think it's so much fun. Like, I think one of the reasons why I had a lot of fun playing Talon in the Talented series was the fact that um, Talon has so many abilities, maybe too many abilities, that can get you out of trouble. I mean, mostly looking at E, right? The parkour gaming. Um, Z getting a dragon? Nice, well played. That's good for us. 30 seconds on my ultimate. They're probably gonna get Baron right here. My KDA, I'm gonna be honest, not looking too impressive. The game, completely out of whack. 30 kills, both sides. I need to put Anathemas on uh, Ari. Actually, would it be worth to put on Briar instead? Maybe. Uh, I feel like it's gonna give more value on Ari because uh, I don't have any magic resistance, so it's effectively gonna give me a lot of magic resistance, and Ari can kill me pretty easily. Roll those. They didn't take Baron yet. Uh, I'm gonna be scared here because I don't know where Briar is, so I want to be careful of not getting hit by Briar. <gasps> I want to see Ari. Yeah, I see her. Okay, my ulti was wasted, I think, because she flashed. And not because she flashed, but... Um... Oh, well, yes, because she flashed. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that line of thought. Um, do we want to fight this? Okay. Wait, did we actually... Oh. Uh oh She's berserking on me until she kills me, right? That's how it works. But now we kill her. I'm gonna jump over here and we're gonna take a little detour. Go over. Um, Ari going in. Maka going in. Need to play this a little bit smart. God Ricker! No! <laughs> uh, wait, it went! But I didn't kill her with it. Oh, GA. Okay, nice. Uh, main flash. Guys, are we doing it? We are Barak. We are Barak, I think. <laughs> 
Jin? No way. Oh, what? He had trained for that. The, oh. Wait, Camille is behind. Oh, no. Zed, get out. <gasps> okay. Spicy. That's all physical damage, by the way. I'm gonna need to sell the control bar for more armor. They might still come. Why is Jin just able to recall there? I feel like Camille is gonna E over the wall right now. Uh, I guess not. Um... Infernal Drake up in 240. We have two Infernal Drakes. There was a Briar ulti, by the way, flying. <laughs> I feel like Briar might be interesting to try. My only kind of worry with that champion, from like a player's perspective, is the fact that I really enjoy like attack spacing on melee champions, but Briar essentially removes that gameplay component because you like force yourself to go into that... Um, um, what is it called? Uh, frenzy state. So then you're not able to control your movement. But it might be interesting from like a strategic point of view how it works. Also might just be funny to hit fast kill people. Uh, Sunfire is 900. 300 for that. Am I able to use Gordrinker here? Yes. I don't think I'm in threat because I saw three people bot side. Honest, like, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, Gordrinker feels pretty nice. Like 2700 healing. And it also gives me wave clear. Like, it's not half bad. I also kind of want to test Stride Breaker. But, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not hating on the Gore Breaker, honestly. I feel like it's viable. I don't think it's enough to build beat a level 16 Camille, if I'm being honest. I, I saw things. It was prior ulti. The true damage is a bit much. No! <laughs> I mean, this is just... This is just ridiculous by me. <laughs> uh, but... You know what I... You, obvi I mean, obviously you know what I tried to do there, but like... The Camille E hitbox is so wide that when I flashed over it, I got hit by it on the, like, opposite side. Well played, Jin. We need to save our base, though. This vein is... A problem. Prior is also a problem. They wasted prior ult for me. I don't think they used anything else. Oh! Wait, she has ulti again? Okay, that's not... I mean, surely you kill her there. She's actually quite tanky. I mean, she has... The three bruiser items. But my Jin does not care. <laughs> Bro just said four! And the guy died. Oh, oh, infernal actually. Infernal. Uh, do I want control? I want to switch to uh, blue trinket. Yo, Vayne, you're not taking that, by the way. It's not yours to take. I could have used uh, EQ uh, refresh state mechanic there to go trinker during the E animation. Let me show you. Um, oh, So typically, when I E go trinker, look, I will go trinker at the end, right? But then if you want advanced mechanic, What you can do is you can Q, and if Q reaches you during E, then you can go drink and me there. <laughs> like, uh, it's uh, one of the most secret chain mechanics. Pretty useless in 99% of the games. But in that one game when you use that, uh, you show your expertise. You know what I mean? We can contest this, guys. We have Marka. No, we don't have Marka Ultimate. Okay, Vayne trying to clear it. Looks is pretty low. Can Maka go for a steal? I think it's just gone. I mean, nice try, nice try. Ooh, my E doing big damage. How much does it do? 500. Huge. Um, Still can't beat Camille in a 1v1. No, sir. So I guess I resort to taking the Krogs then. Maybe just saving my inhibitor. 40 seconds ultimate. Baron is gonna spawn before that. It's gonna be a little bit of awkward moments there. Um, yeah, I can't stay here because Camilla can keep me uh, CC'd. Or, like, she can stick on to me for a long time. Mm. Got her bow plating. <laughs> Not like it matters at this point. I 
don't know if I like it. Gonna have to regain MMC here. Trout. I misplayed that so poorly. Uh, I should have eat immediately uh, so I didn't get hit by Ari Charm. I think we lose unless Zed can perform a miracle here. It's not like he's Weabu Slayer 40, uh, 420. That guy can do some crazy stuff on Zed, by the way. In our tournament, he was. Ooh, spicy. I feel like so useless, by the way, in these endgame teamfights. Um, but maybe it's my fault. Um, I think it might be Jover a little bit. A little bit over here. Uh, what do we go for next? Okay, well pet Zed. It doesn't kill though because she has shields. <laughs> Briar game. Uh, like, what do I actually buy? Like, do I buy Varnas mail? Like, if Jean dies, then it's over. I mean, it's over. But uh, if Jean lives, I think we might be Barak. I need to kill this guy fast. Yep, got it. Good route. Oh yeah, she's CC immune during that e-channel, it cannot be interrupted. Oh no, Venus is gonna melt me. She had cleanse unfortunately, that's just... I think it's Jover guys. Ah, well, hey, it is what it is. Officially, Shen Boycott has ended. We will stand united. Losses come, but loses improve, as a great man once said, and you know, whatever my YouTube outro is, um, stand united guys, see you in the next video, now for real, thanks for watching guys, see you.